question about what's going on at the border. Is somebody asking the foreign nationals who are walking into Del Rio, Texas, and setting up camps on this side of the border for proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test? Well, first of all, I can re, re, I can readdress for you or re, re talk you through what that steps the, we that take. That is the policy for people who fly into the country. So if somebody walks into the country right across the river, does somebody ask them to see their vaccination card? Well, let me explain to you again, Peter, how our process works. As individuals, like as individuals come across the border, uh, and uh, they are uh, both assessed for whether they have. Uh, any symptoms. If they have symptoms, they are the intention is for them to be quarantined. That is our process. They're not intending to stay here for a lengthy period of time. I don't think it's but the same here. thing. The it's not the same thing. These are individuals, as we've noted and as we've been discussed, we are expelling individuals based on Title 42 specifically because of COVID, because we want to prevent a scenario where large numbers of people are gathering, posing a threat to the community and also to the migrants themselves. So those are the policies that we put in place um, in large part because, again, the CDC continues to recommend Title 42 be in place given we're facing a global pandemic. Where's the vice president on any of this? Isn't she supposed to be addressing the root causes of migration? Absolutely, and she has been addressing the root causes of migration by working with countries in the region to ensure they have the assistance they need to reduce the number of people who are coming uh, and trying to make those journeys across the border. We've actually seen some reductions in some of those numbers. That doesn't change the fact that this is a very challenging situation in Del Rio. We're working to implement our policies, and we're working to uh, ensure we are also addressing root causes. 